guys, what's up? It's me, Austin, here, back for another episode of City Skylines, building the city of By Beach City. Now, um, if you had, if you haven't watched the last episode yet, I highly suggest you do that, um, as that was a very fun one to uh, record, and I even watched it a few times on my own, and it was really um, entertaining as well. But in today's episode, I'm going to be doing a few different things. Um, and I was just kind of meandering around my city whenever I noticed that these trees here, they don't really look that good. And there's actually something that I could do about this, um, that I am wanting to do. So if I go here, um, scroll down, filter industrial waste. Uh, zone industrial buildings need to filter their waste, making them pollute the ground a lot less, as this is ground pollution. Um, it costs two uh, dollars or whatever, zone industrial building a week. So um, I'm going to go here, paint district, and I'm going to paint out this area. And fill this in that way they're all forced to do that um, so go here policies I can go filter industrial waste now the second that he unpauses the game here they will be forced to filter their industrial waste which should hopefully make those trees over there look a lot better now another thing that I noticed is that um, we still have a bit of demand for commercial zones and um, there is actually no commercial over here. There's no space for um, any employee over in, our, in this industrial district um, if they wanted to just grab a quick bite to eat or if they wanted to um, do a bit of shopping before heading home at the end of the day. Um, so. I do think it is reasonable to add a little bit of commercial here um, to an extent, you know. Um, you know what, that's probably good enough. Probably, I could probably add a little bit more near this uh, recycling center here. And. All that space already has access to water, which is exactly what I want. Um, now, another thing that I noticed in this city is that <clears throat> is that if I go here, I have 329 passengers per week on my residential line, 98 a week on my industrial line, but I'm still seeing issues with not enough workers. So, I'm either, I'm, I'm contributing that to basically one of two problems. One, uh, it's not easy enough for the people down here to get up here, which very well could be the case. Or, we just don't have a big enough population to support our industrial, which is uh, another issue entirely. Um, however, one of the things I do want to do in this episode is start with getting some taxis on the road um, so hopefully people can uh, call in some taxis and, and, and whatnot um, so uh, that can happen look at that as soon as I unpause the game these people over here are not happy at all um, but I suppose whenever I do have the money I could just place it right here it's 18,750 which is a lot of money compared to what I have right now. Um, in the meantime, though, I could add a little bit more uh, uh, zoned residential. Mm. Where do I want to put this zoned residential? I could put it over here. Um, however, this space here also could use some more people living in it, so I'll put it over here. 
We actually do have the demand for it too that needs to be met. Okay, so now, now that I have 20,000 here, I'm gonna slow the game down. I just, do they have, they do have water, that's good. Okay, time to go over here, place this down. <laughs> Waiting for the yellow cabs, hashtag taxi club. And now I actually have the ability to um, place taxi stands. When a taxi cab is not busy, uh, it will return to the closest taxi stand to wait for a uh, fare, unless a taxi depot is closer by. Um, so I think I do want one of these near here. And this corner sounds about right to me. Um, and this place over here seems to function just fine. So I'm going to leave that alone. Um, there doesn't really seem to be any issues with not having enough uh, workers. Um, oh, it seems like it had started raining. Anyway, um, now if I go to parks. And actually, I want to go to land value so, so I can demonstrate this. So, again, surrounding the uh, by Beach City Park, um, that's where there's the highest land value. Over here, there's next to nothing. And this is like extremely, extremely low. Um, so, I kind of want to fix that. Um, what park do I put over here though? Well, these parking lots actually do count as parks. So I could just put a couple of them over here. Um, and as you saw, the color immediately changed. Um, put a couple over here potentially as well. And hopefully that will... That, that should increase the land value at least a little bit. Somehow over here has land value. And I didn't even place anything there yet. But as you saw, like doing that uh, did increase the land value. Um, I want to increase the land value over here as well. Um, hopefully get rid of these power lines. Um... So, am I correct in assuming this is a dog park? I am correct in assuming that. Um, so we need different types of parks over here, right? Um, none of this land can be used because of the stupid power lines. I'm going to pause the game and get, get uh, rid of some of these. Um, and we'll actually add some parking near uh, near these parks here. Which way is this facing? Must be facing this way. Um, not only will that increase the land, but it also uh, give people some parking. Um, Japanese garden. Yeah, why not add one of those? Um, I'll add it right off the collector. Uh, maybe one more park here. Um, maybe Paradox Plaza. The way you get really high land values is simply by having a lot of parks within a short uh, a, a distance. That's that's how you really maximize it. Um, and power is actually jumping, so I don't actually need to add any power lines back. Um, so let's jump back into our land values and see how that made a difference. So I do see that the green has extended over a little bit, um, but that's not really good enough for me, per se. Ooh, what is this problem here? Not enough educated workers. What is happening with their education right now? Is our education system failing? We have enough capacity for elementary schools and high schools. The problem is that we don't have the university unlocked yet. 
Yeah, we need a higher population for that. Once we do, I really need to place one. Let's see, we need a population of 8,000. We're, we're under 1,000 away. Um, but we definitely need to uh, work towards getting that milestone for sure. Um, and, you know, more, more commercial, why not? Um, more residential. I'll add more residential here. And here, and this will be for commercial use. Um, let's see. Looks like the problem actually got fixed over here with, with not having enough workers, so uh, maybe adding some taxis around town was actually um, the this, this solution here, so um, so yeah, that, 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 that's good. Um, out of curiosity, how many visitors do we need left? We're still profiting by around $500, even though we have a, a lot more parks around. <laughs> So 10,000 to get 5 stars, we need just under 8,000 there. And I don't really notice any difference with, the in, in, uh, with less pollution, polluting the ground. Maybe I just need to wait a longer period of time. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing as well with post notifications on. That way you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. That being said, you guys, I'll see you in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye.